Chris, uh, of Stakeholder Gold, you um, have a very interesting company with a very tight capital structure um, and a couple of uh, cash, a cash flow generating asset and an exploration asset. Um, let's just talk about the exploration asset because it's uh, in the Yukon, a quite an interesting project. Why don't you give us a little bit of an overview of it? Okay, Ballarat, uh, in the heart of the white gold, 18,700 hectares. Just, it just uh, added very significantly to our ground package. Um, due north of coffee, uh, 5 million ounce coffee being developed by Newmont, um, northwest of, uh, of Casino uh, Deposit with, um, with both RTZ and Mitsubishi as significant investors, both above $20 million in that one. And then um, west, of, west of Betty you know, and south and, and southeast of, of the white gold uh, discoveries, including Saddle, Betty, uh, uh, Ryan Surprise and, and um, the various deposits that they're developing. So they have a very large land position. So we're 18,700 hectares and the uh, uh, principal attributes uh, for this project are cover 17 kilometers of the road uh, that uh, is being developed, uh, the, the Northern Gateway Road that will um, provide access from Dawson down to the coffee uh, mine. And um, Geologically covers the headwaters for Ballarat Creek. Ballarat Creek produced 20,000 ounces of gold from 1978 to 2022. So a very prolific plaster gold producer. The source of that gold, the headwaters, all the, the headwaters of uh, that drain into Ballarat Creek are covered by this claim group that we have. Uh, and the source of that gold will be identified on this property. And then the, um, the also the headwaters uh, at, the, at the top of Barker Creek. Barker Creek was also a very prolific uh, plaster producer in the White Gold District, um, 20,000 ounces, also 1978 to 2022. So when you're looking at your property and you talk about plaster deposits, that uh, is sort of deposits in the river or the gravels near the rivers, and you're trying to look for the source. Can you just explain how, how you go about doing that? Um, GT probe, uh, ridge and spur, soil samples effectively. So there's 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 gold produced from Ballarat Creek. It is sourced proximal to Ballarat Creek. It comes by way of drainage, and uh, um, the the way that these all these deposits in the White Gold District have been identified is a comprehensive soils light up a soil anomaly followed up by drilling. So that's what we'll be doing on Ballarat. Um, we have all of the drainage into Ballarat Creek. So the twenty thousand ounces that have been produced there, nineteen seventy eight to twenty. 22, there's a source, a gold source, a deposit, at least one that created, uh, that, that, you know, provided the gold that ultimately ends up in Ballarat Creek. And if you look at the drainage, uh, all of the claims that we, the, the, the claims that we have covered comprehensively the drainage into Ballarat Creek. So we'll, we'll be able to locate the source of the gold in Ballarat Creek on the property that we have. We'll be able, we'll be doing that by way of soil sampling, um, ridge and spur, uh, using GT probe the same way they've identified the other deposits successfully identified the other deposits in the white gold district so. and with this claim package you have which is fairly large and you're saying that the drainage into these creeks come on your property you're fairly confident that you'll be able to identify at least some source of the gold on, on your project do you have some sort of outcropping you're you mentioning soil sampling um will you be doing any uh, uh drilling or will the soil sampling really be determining uh future drilling the soil sampling will lead to future drilling. Very confident we'll be able to identify, identify in the near term and quickly, the you know the, through soil sampling the sources for uh, for for the gold in Ballarat Creek. Again, we cover the property claim set that we have covers comprehensively the drainage to Ballarat Creek. So the source will be there, it will be located there, and we'll be able to do it very quickly. I think July this year. Um, but also the headwaters for Barker Creek. Barker Creek was also a prolific uh, plaster producer, more than 20,000 ounces. We have about 3,500 hectares covering the drainage at the headwaters for, for Barker Creek. And we'll be, we'll be conducting comprehensive soils on this entire area over, a, uh, over about a six week period uh, starting at the end of June. We'll get the results quickly and um, we'll, be able to, um, we'll, we'll be able to identify, uh, uh, we suspect at least one soil anomaly set of anomalies uh, for, for, for Ballarat Creek and uh, possibly more than one for Ballarat Creek and one 
also for Barker Creek that will uh, lead to drilling and prospectivity for another gold deposit discovery in the White Gold District. And will you have to raise any funds to uh, for this exploration? Uh, we're generating cash flow in Brazil, mm, you know, to cover corporate. I think we'll raise some funds. 100% of it will go into the ground. Our, uh, the soil is not going to be an expensive program, half a million dollars. And so uh, and it'll happen quickly. We'll identify those anomalies quickly. And I would expect uh, us to be able to re-rate materially from that because uh, that would be a very strong indication that we're on to a, at least one more, uh, uh, you know, um, gold source deposit discovery prospect as, uh, you know, similar to the others that, are, that have been already found, identified and uh, drilled and developed in the white gold there. Great. So um, for, uh, for the investors who are looking at news flow, uh, you mentioned that you're, you're going to be out there uh, this summer. And what should they expect from Newsflow uh, from you then? We're going to start the soils program. We're going to do the whole property, 18,700 hectares. We're going to get it all done in six weeks. And we're going to find probably one, uh, probably more than one, but I would suspect at least one golden soils anomaly that could ultimately lead to a, a new deposit discovery. So our objective is to do this as quickly as possible um, to, uh, to, um, you know, to, to attain the results, to publish them, uh, and to, uh, to uh, start to, um, you know, advocate the potential for uh, uh, further discoveries of gold deposits in this prolific white gold area. So that's, that's our, our objective. I think we can execute pretty quickly in about a six-week time frame uh, from the end of June uh, this summer. Yeah. Great. Well, well, thanks for your time today, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it.